Hello, I am Dr. Prabodh Karnik, ENT surgeon at the SRCC Children's Hospital managed by Narayana Health. I am sitting in the ear, nose and throat clinic and a patient has just seen me with a mother complaining that her school going 7 year old boy after he's begun playing football sneezes so much has nasal blockage has watering from the nose and has headaches so much so that he cannot concentrate on his studies and she wants to pull him out of the football coaching program and wanted to seek my opinion so first I reassured her saying that things will be okay and I will control the problems that your child is facing and I examined this child. I found a bright seven year old boy a little fidgety all the time touching his nose sniffling a bit because obviously his nose was watering and in front of me he had a couple of sneezes. I asked the mother whether this child was allergic to something and the mother did say that the child is allergic to eggs and we they knew about it when the child was two years old and after that they were avoided eggs but cannot necessarily avoid it in the cakes and the confectionery and the bakery that the boy eats. When I examined this child, I saw that the nose was soggy from inside, a little watery. The inner lining was a little bluish and pale and there was a distinct crease on the nose as if the child was keeping on rubbing the nose from the outside. The eyes were a little red, swollen, watering a bit and also confirmed that the eyes were participating in the nasal allergy that this boy had. With this stethoscope, I auscultated the chest and fortunately in this child, the chest was normal, there was no wheeze and the mother did say that neither the father or the mother or the grandparents or anybody in the family had asthma or any other problems of allergy related to the skin. So I told this mother that your boy most likely has allergic rhinitis or allergy affecting the nose and simplistically put allergy is the body's own immune system gone or I. Even if a non-allergic child or you or I go into a room which is dusty, we will sneeze. Our nose will water. The nose will block telling us please leave this room so that you avoid entry of the dust into the nose and into the lower respiratory tract. But here the body is recognizing pollen or foods or something. It could be washing powder, it could be just about anything as foreign protein, as an allergen and is telling the body to expel it by sneezing, by watering so that it gets washed out, the nose blocks so that more allergen can't enter the nose and the child sometimes gets headache and a little bit of fever saying that, look, I am not well, I should go to bed. So first things first, I told the mother that I will give relief to your boy and I prescribed nose drops, the decongestant nose drops and told her and warned her that she can use those nose drops only for a week because usage of these nose drops beyond a week can very easily create an addiction. I suggested a medication which is a combination of an anti-allergy medication, a decongestant and a paracetamol to reduce the inflammation. I told the mother 
that once the child becomes all right, I want certain blood tests to be done, blood counts, vitamin B12, vitamin D, thyroid levels to see the general health of the patient because very often one finds that allergy affects children who are in not such good health. So the next time I would like to see the child, I would like to see all these investigations. I would then tell the mother about preventive issues. I would tell the mother that it is important to see that the environment that the child is in at home is scrupulously clean, double cleaned, so to say, cleaned by a vacuum so that all dusts is removed, especially on the drapes, curtains, sofas, bed sheets. If anything is nylon or with feathers, that should be avoided. If there are pets at home, it creates another dimension because often the child may be allergic to the pet's hair, but since the child is so attached to the pet, it is almost impossible to keep the child away from the pet. And that I often just inform the mother and ask her that they have to decide the way forward. Insofar as foods are concerned, I tell them that typically blander, simpler foods usually are not allergic. Typical allergic foods are prawns, fish, eggs, tomatoes, guavas, chikus, bananas are often allergic perhaps because of the chemicals that are used in bananas. Insofar as Pollen allergy is concerned, it's not something that we can do too much to unless the child can relocate to a different place or the family can relocate. So often I tell them that one cannot really do too much to pollen allergy except perhaps using an air purifier to be installed in the bedroom. Should the child be giving up football? Should the child be giving up school? Certainly not. I always feel that exercise is one of the best immunity boosters and mental and physical exercise that the child will get in football is probably much more important and as a counterbalance for the allergy that the child may get while playing football. So I would tell the child, go ahead and play. But as soon as you finish, you must come home, take a shower, clean your nose, blow out your nose and remove all the allergens from the nose. In the medium term, very safe anti-allergic medications are now available which can be taken for a few weeks, months or even sometimes years. These medications do have a problem of a little bit of sedation. But newer antihistamine medications give very little sedation and in fact they suggest that these newer antihistamines should be given before breakfast and on an empty stomach. At this moment they are considered to be remarkably safe even for long term use. Very often we give these children steroidal nasal sprays. Various kinds of steroids are available and do remember that almost all these steroids are not absorbed by the body and even if they are absorbed, they are deactivated in the liver. So the chances of the child having steroid related drug problems are absolutely minuscule. And I often have to reassure the parents for that. In fact, I would think that if a child can take long-term steroidal sprays, it may just be safer and nicer than taking an antihistamine. As I said before, exercise is the key. Being strong, 
eating well, avoiding foods that are obviously allergic, avoiding things that are absolutely allergic is the key. And very often I find that allergy takes a turn for the better once the child reaches puberty. Well, sometimes these allergies take a turn for the worse and they also descend into the chest giving a wheeze or very infrequently dermatitis or eczema. But that is a rare phenomenon. I would tell this mother that certainly not the mother should never pull this child out of school or out of her football coaching program and they must make this child as healthy as possible and as happy as possible. Thank you.